Hello everyone, I'm happy to see you here once again. This The Educational Series has provided an informative and useful video about public liability insurance. Here, we will try to cover all about public liability insurance including what is public liability insurance, what is typically covered by public liability insurance policies, what does not public liability insurance typically cover, is it really necessary for me to have public liability insurance, when is it necessary to have public liability insurance and what is the cost of public liability insurance coverage and much more. For your kind information this series has been made only for educational purpose. For any doubt, you can use the comment section. We will try our best. Let's get right to the topic without wasting any time. What is public liability insurance? If a customer, supplier, or member of the public files a claim against you as a result of being injured or sustaining property damage as the result of your negligent business activities. Public liability insurance is designed to protect you and your business from financial loss. Small business owners have a legal obligation to take reasonable precautions to ensure the safety of their customers, suppliers, and the general public as well as the security of their property. The majority of public liability policies also include coverage for product liability. If you sell, supply, or deliver goods, even if they are in the form of repair or service, you may require insurance coverage in the event that your product is found to have caused injury, death, or property damage. Even the most cautious businesses run the risk of injuring someone or causing damage to property while conducting their operations. If you were a small business and were faced with a public liability claim, the financial impact of paying the claim and associated legal fees, including defense costs, could potentially cause you to go out of business, as has happened to many others. That is why you should consider purchasing public liability insurance to provide your company with the financial protection it deserves. What is typically covered by public liability insurance policies? It is always a good idea to double check your insurance policy to ensure that you are covered for everything you expect. If you are ever in doubt, refer to the product disclosure statement PDS or speak with your insurer to clarify your understanding. A third party has been injured as a result of your negligence. In any industry where people come into contact with your business on a regular basis, there is always the possibility of a potential claim occurring. Accidents can happen in the blink of an eye. Whether it's a client tripping over a box of stock in a retail store or a beauty professional applying a product to a client's skin that causes a reaction to their skin. However unintentional, the consequences of a claim can have significant consequences for your company, making it a source of concern you would prefer to avoid. Damage to property owned by a third party as a result of your careless business activities is prohibited. This includes things like accidentally causing damage to your client's personal property, such as spilling food on their clothing and damaging their mobile phone, among other things. Such as tradies who are performing physical work on a client's property and encounter difficulties along the way, such as accidentally burst pipes that cause property damage, may find themselves protected under this provision. Legal and defense expenses incurred in connection with a covered claim. Legal expenses that may be associated with your claim, which can quickly accumulate, especially if your claim is ongoing for an extended period of time, are covered by this policy. What does not public liability insurance typically cover? Events that occur before or after the policy period are covered. Damage to your own property. Failure to exercise caution in a careless or willful manner. Costs associated with correcting faulty workmanship. Liability under a contract. Asbestos. Injuries caused by advertising. Negligence on the part of a professional or illegal activity. 
personal injuries to you or your employees. Pollution. Is it really necessary for me to have public liability insurance? It is a fundamental type of insurance coverage that many different types of businesses may find themselves in need of at some point in their lives. Apart from providing peace of mind, it also serves to safeguard your company's hard-earned reputation and financial assets. Here are a few things to think about when making your decision. If a claim were to be filed, would your company be able to afford the associated legal fees as well as any compensation that might be awarded? When you file a claim, the last thing you want to do is put your personal finances in jeopardy by having to pay for the debt that has accrued as a result of the claim. It may also be a legal requirement for certain types of businesses to have public liability insurance in place before they can begin working. Make sure you have enough insurance coverage in place because sometimes a specific minimum level of protection is required. If you are renting a space for your business, having public liability insurance may also be a requirement of your rental agreement with your landlord. If you are renting a space for your business, having public liability insurance may also be a requirement of your rental agreement with your landlord. When is it necessary to have public liability insurance? Any business that interacts with clients, customers, or other members of the general public should consider purchasing public liability insurance coverage. Clients who suffer slip and fall injuries at your workplace, or employees who cause damage to a customer's property, may face high medical and repair bills as well as a lawsuit if the situation is not addressed promptly. Public liability insurance can assist you in minimizing the financial consequences of a lawsuit against your company. Public liability insurance is especially important for businesses that deal with the general public on a regular basis, whether that is on-site at your business, at a client's business, or at a customer's residence. Even if you do all of your business online, you would still benefit from this coverage because you interact with other people when you receive deliveries or pick up supplies from a warehouse. What is the cost of public liability insurance coverage? General liability insurance, which includes public liability insurance, has a median monthly cost of $42 and covers a variety of risks. Alternatively, you can obtain it through a business owner's policy for a median monthly cost of $53 and have it protect your company's property as well. The cost of public liability insurance is determined by a number of variables, including the amount of insurance you purchase, the history of claims, the size and location of the company, your industry, as well as the risks. It is possible that your business provides services to the government, such as for a school district or city hall, and that your contract contains a legal requirement for a certain amount of insurance coverage. You may be required to carry this coverage by clients, landlords, and lenders, among others. Someone who owns a photography studio, a fitness center, or a cleaning business will almost certainly require more coverage and will pay higher premiums than someone who works from home as an IT consultant or web designer. Finally, in this whole series, we discussed about public liability insurance including what is public liability insurance, what is typically covered by public liability insurance policies, what does not public liability insurance typically cover, is it really necessary for me to have public liability insurance, when is it necessary to have public liability insurance and what is the cost of public liability insurance coverage and much more. Hope you understand and found this series more informative and useful. Thanks for joining us, hope you have a beautiful day.